Validation is a difficult process, not because it's technically difficult, but because it is emotionally difficult. You have spent so much time on developing the best solution and you have selected it because you believe it is the best one. Now you have to go outside to the big bad world to check if people really love your ID. This can be very much outside your comfort zone. However, it is an essential step. If you avoid this step, you might end up building a solution for a problem that nobody cares about. It is important to be very open for feedback and to be true to yourself, not only as a person, but also as a team. Keep in mind that validation will definitely lead to failure, because it is nearly impossible that you find the best solution from your first try. You can think about failure as a first attempt in learning. You can tackle the validation process as a scientific process and build a hypothesis that can clearly pass or fail. You can build a sentence such as, we believe that this specific testable action will drive or lead to this specific measurable outcome within a certain time frame. For example, we believe that spreading 500 flyers in 10 different shops will drive or lead to the use of 100 promotional codes within one month. Then you can prepare the experiment, such as making the flyers and deciding in which shops you will spread them. Then you run the test and you measure the outcome, because based on this outcome, you will decide whether your test passed or failed. If your test passes, that's great. You just go to the next hypothesis that you want to test. If your test failed, it's no problem. You have to go back to the drawing board to come up with a new solution. But how do we start this validation process? There are so many things that need to be validated. Well, that's easy. You start with the most risky hypothesis. This is the hypothesis of which you think, if this one is not true, we can better forget our business, it will never work. For example, if you build an ice cream stand, you can start to think about branding and marketing and colors. However, if people don't like ice cream or don't like your ice cream specifically, you might run out of business in the end. And when do we stop validating? Well, actually, you never stop. There is always a new hypothesis that needs validation.